Hello and welcome to How to Attach Documents to PowerSchool, brought to you by the one and only Face. Today we're going to be talking about adding documents to PowerSchool so that students can download them directly from PowerSchool. Very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to log into my Gmail account or my school mail account um, and I am going to go select documents. So I'm just accessing my Google Documents. It doesn't matter if it's in your personal email or otherwise. Uh, I have uploaded several assignments to my Google Docs and I'm going to look specifically for a worksheet that was due today. Now this is the worksheet that was due today in my class and so what I want to do is I want to make it so available for those students that were not here today. So I'm going to click on the share button and I want to make sure that it's public to anyone on the the web. And so the default is um, private so you're gonna have to click on that share and change it from private back to public to the web and then you're gonna save that. Now anybody can view it on there. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this URL link and I'm gonna take that URL link and go to Power Teacher. Now in Power Teacher, I'm going to go to my specific class that I want, make sure I'm in the right trimester, and I'm going to add an assignment. So my assignment that I'm going to add is dividing decimals, if I can spell dividing decimals, and it's worksheet B60. I'm struggling a little bit today. Now, after I've done that, I'm going to choose my category. I'm going to have it under my effort grade. And then I want to paste the link, but I want to make sure my due dates are correct. So I select my correct due dates. Then I'm going to go down to the link button and I'm going to add that. And I'm going to paste in the URL right there. I'm going to paste that one that I copied from before. And then I'm, this is important right here. You need to type in what you want the worksheet to say because this is what they're going to see on their student power teacher or power, power school. So I put that there. Make sure that's the title that you want it to go with. Click OK and it'll write the code for you and then you click save and it's saved. I'm going to copy it to my multiple classes. Now they're copied to all my classes. Now I'm just going to check for a minute after I have all that. They're all added. I'm going to check back online how a student would see it um, on their own personal computer. So I'm going to go into backpack and just show you this way. Now I'm going to choose a student. So I'm going to go into trimester two and under my class and select the grade for that. And then you notice that all mine are highlighted in blue. Uh, that's because I added a description to this and you notice the one we just barely put we put dividing decimals I click on that and that is the worksheet that we attach to power to school so students can go there access it from power power school and either download it or work it on a separate sheet of paper um, it's pretty easy pretty straightforward once again you just click on the second trimester go to the assignment and click on the description and there is the worksheet. Hope you enjoyed this. This is brought to you by The Face.